what Laura likes. So today we're doing more of a vlog style video. We're gonna see how this goes. I have an earpiece in, so hopefully you can hear me well. So we are gonna talk about homeschooling. I'm in my homeschool room. I'm in, a, I'm in my homeschool room, scrolling around. Woo, I'm getting dizzy. Um, just kind of give you an idea of what's going on in here. This is where we do the majority of our schooling. And I apologize if I keep looking, if I'm in the wrong spot. I'm just on my phone. So what I wanna do is kind of give you a rundown of what I'm using for the kiddos and then if you guys have a homeschool questions, put them down below and we will chat about like schedule. I'll, I will show you my sample schedule for today. Um, I'll, I'll show you the planner I'm using and how I'm using it and my bookshelves and all the things. So most of this video is gonna be, I get like stepping in the word lighting. Um, most of this video is gonna be turned around, but I just wanted to pop in and say hi first. If you guys are new, I am a Catholic homeschooling mama of two kiddos, hopefully more to be to come. I just love the Catholic faith. Most, most of my videos are about Catholicism, but I am a homeschooling mama and my heart really is in a place where I wanna start talking more about homeschooling. It's been a little bit of a spiritual battle to get on camera, but if you are a Catholic homeschooling mama or just a homeschooling mama in general, and you need some support, some guidance, um, I am not in anywhere an expert. My kiddos are 10 and six. So I've been homeschooling for whenever Chloe started learning. So, well, you could say 10. Um, but anyway, I just want to preface that. So that's, that's who I'm at. That's who I am. That's who you're watching. So let me spin around and I will show you, um, just kind of how the room set up. And then we'll talk about what books I'm using right now and what our day looks like a little bit. Okay, so this was our schedule today. We started out with math because yesterday math was a little bit rough. Um, we're working on the Anima, Christ, Anima Christi prayer, so that's what the prayer is. We did some reverse dictation using Brave Writer. We are using the um, Prima Latina um, Latin program, and, and then we are using McGuffey Readers. We were reviewing what a compass was, and then Chloe had some work with me, and then some independent work. And so that was just kind of our general um, schedule today on Tuesday, October 13th. And Chloe did this because she wanted us to choose what mermaid tail colors we wanted. <laughs> um, in here I have like the Pledge of Allegiance up here. I have obviously a crucifix. Um, St. Therese was, her feast day was at some point. I should know, October, so that's why she's there. Um, here's a calendar from church. I have some binders here. And then these are all of my books. So we use these for character development. This is for religion, obviously. Poetry, um, this is a, we haven't done a lot with this, but this is Seton's, um, not Seton's, Catholic Heritage Curricula's Saint book. These are what we are using for science this year. I'm just kind of pulling from them. I'll show you what I do with that in a minute. This is Sewing with St. Anne from Catholic Heritage Curricula. Uh, we haven't started yet, but that is one of my goals, probably in the cooler months. And then for art, we are using these art prints for art appreciation. We have this one down here which is Snap the Whip, and I already, I already forgot the author, author's name, but that was fun to study. And then, let's see, Chloe's math books are here. She's doing this Pull the Code. This is um, Math One from The Good and the Beautiful. And then down here I have a bunch of Usborne science books and things and some drawing books. So this year, this made such a huge difference, you guys. This year I gave both of the kiddos a box. Um, and so this is where they have all of their school books. Um, so it's work that they've done. It's maybe a book I want them to read. Her art book's in here. Um, so this is the English book we're using right now because we didn't finish it last year, so I decided to just keep going. But we, I did order Seton's English for as well. This is what we do for science. So we have these notebooks, and um, I'll show you Chloe's last time. So we learned about soil on the 16th. We haven't done science since then. But um, I just encourage her to draw something regarding what we are learning. And then Neil, I'll show you how it looks different. So that, she's 10 and he's six. And so he drew, you know, the worms and some digging and some, you know, the compost. And then she, you know, added words to it and things like that. I like having it more open-ended for science so I can teach the lesson and then they can write something like a takeaway. It's kind of like what they do in Super Y. That's kind of funny. Um, they each have a notebook for, um, for copy work. They each have a Baltimore Catechism, and then these are some different um, books they use for her. And then for Neil, this is just from Target. Um, oh, and here's the, the McGuffey readers. So Neil is doing primer, and I just teach one lesson a day. He's six. I know this video is from all over the place, but. So we'll go through, we talk about the picture first, 
Then we read through the words and then he reads the little story. And I do this so it's easier for him to read. And I actually do that for Chloe as well. I do that with both of them independently. For Neil, I just started using this first language, language lessons. We're gonna work through this book. And, oh, here's, that's Chloe's Prima Latina workbook. She needs to do that actually. Um, math level K, which I have a whole video on this. Um, oh, some books just got mixed up. This is the one we're using for Chloe. Now she's fourth grade. But um, I just we started off with like easier stuff. So this is stuff that she can read. But it, it, and she does go like this. But she's slightly dyslexic, and the language is a bit different than the average book. So um, anyway, I'm just kind of showing you through what's in there. What's in their um, boxes? And then they also each have a binder. And so what I do for these is the prayer that we're working on goes in the front. I just type that up. And then this actually came with my planner. And then, um, so Brave Writer is a bit of a different program. So I use a certain website, I'll link it down below, to make these. And they each have a math section in here in case there's anything up with that. And then she'll have like sheets if she hasn't finished something from math, you see. And maybe some other helpful math items and then we have a geography as well section this is europe because we're going to europe and then um he has his bob book chart that i made which he could probably finish all those books now that is, he's a bit older this is the book that i use for planning it it's not quite it's probably not the best book for me since i actually we're not doing morning basket right now there's a lot of morning basket emphasis in this book. But so what I just do is write out kind of the subject here and then I kind of ran out of some, some room. Um, but I just plan this out on Sunday for the next day and I just, you know, put their math lessons, um, language arts, and then I kind of add in things. Like I, we didn't get to science today, so I moved it over here. These are their um, phonics lessons from the McGuffey reader. This is her English book. Latin was right here. And this is kind of like what we're doing with Latin. And then on top of all the work that we do down here together, um, Chloe does have a spiral notebook where I write down her ind independent work. And she has until 5 p.m. to get that work done. So um, kind of like homework. And it shouldn't, shouldn't take her more than like 30 minutes maybe. Um, I do need to get her Prima Latina book upstairs to her. But she's fourth grade. And I just wanted her to have some work that she needed to do on her own. And then I just correct it. We have a lot of third grade seat and leftover because I bought the whole thing last year and some items I liked and some items I didn't. And actually I just ordered religion for both kids from Seton as well as English 4, Vocab 4, and Book of Gladness and their Catholic Songs DVD. So I'm excited to get those in. So if you guys want to see anything more close up, let me know and I can do it in a separate video just on that curriculum. Um, I know I kind of flew through the through things pretty quickly. I'm going to make a blog post that corresponds with this video and put it up on my What Laura Likes page. So on there, I will have a list of what each kid's specific curricula looks like that I've put together and then links to everything. So um, if I went too fast or if you weren't quite sure about a particular subject, then um, I will have everything linked there. Yeah. If you thought this video was helpful or you just like seeing what we're doing, um, make sure that you give this video a thumbs up and share it if you know somebody who just needs that little bit of motivation for homeschooling. That's a whole other topic as well. So, um, all right guys, until next time, continue to know God, love God, and do God's will, and I'll see you real soon. Bye.